In this video, I'm going to show you the operation of our new clinical electron charger. Here is the power switch. If the unit goes into a fail-safe mode and says off, you'll simply press a switch once and back again to reset it. Here is where the voltage will be displayed. Here is where amperage will be displayed. This controls voltage. On this version, the pulse feature is here on the side. In turns the pulse on. Off turns the pulse off. Coming around the back, we have the fuse at the top right, the power in, and the output. So let's attach the various parts to it right now. This is what it looks like with the output attached and the power cord plugged in. Okay, now we're going to turn the unit on. First, let's confirm that the power supply is working and there is our blue indicator light telling us the power is on at the power supply. Then we're gonna turn the switch on here and you'll see the green run light come on and you'll see if you've got the voltage all the way dialed down to the lowest setting, 0 0.3, 0 0.31 kilovolts. So this is reading in kilovolts, so 0.3 is 300 volts. If you were walking barefoot on the beach or on the forest floor, then you would be getting something around 150 to 200 volts. So this is going at a little bit stronger than what you'd get in nature. I like to sleep with it on this setting because at higher levels, I find it too energizing to sleep. That being said, when I wake up, I do like to turn the voltage up to four to eight kilovolts, which would be eight point something. And that makes it a lot easier to get out of bed in the morning on those days when you don't really feel like getting up. The amperage value should always be zero, indicating that we are at microcurrent levels. The unit will turn off at approximately four milliamps. If you see that the amperage is not zero, then that's your indication that either you have a poor ground at your outlet or that you're not properly insulated from ground where you're at and you need to raise the conductive pad, whether that's stainless steel or carbon fiber, off the ground more. Okay, so now we're going to turn the voltage up. And do this slowly because if you go too quickly, you can actually trigger the auto reset button and it'll turn off. And so you can see now we're at 4.15, that's 4,150 volts. And this will go all the way up to around 18,000. If you start getting a buzzing sound, then you probably are losing some energy to ground, you're not insulated properly, turn it down until the buzzing stops and or reassess how insulated you are from the ground. So there we are at max on this particular one going at 18.82, which is 18,800 volts. And then we can turn it back down again. The unit right now is going to a stainless steel mesh, but in the future, uh, probably by the time you get your unit, these units will have a carbon fiber mattress pad that you can use so you can sleep with it or put it on a massage table for your clients. Okay, one thing to note, if you go up too quickly, it will turn off automatically because it thinks that you have uh, touched the ground and it's gone as auto protect. So if you get into the auto protect system, simply turn the unit off, wait a few seconds, turn the unit back on, and next time, just turn the unit up a little more slowly. And now we're going to turn the pulse feature on right here. And now we're on pulse. There's no indicator that it's on pulse. You simply have to know that the button has been pressed in. One thing to know about the pulse feature is it will raise the top end of the voltage, letting you get well over 18,000 volts. So on pulse, don't take it to full power. Keep it to 18,000 or lower. You can turn the unit on with the voltage at the halfway point and it will slowly take itself up if you find that you have a poor ground at your location and it's throwing the auto reset off more quickly than you'd like. Well, that's the unit. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for being so patient. It was a long time in getting these upgrades, but they're all well worth it. If you have any questions, just give us a call.